BJP's had a high-profile entrant this evening. His name is Lieutenant General Sarat Chand, a decorated officer who, was, uh, who, who has served in the army for at least four decades. He joined the BJP in the presence of Shushma Swaraj some time back. He's spoken to Republic TV. Let's listen in. In one word, it is uh, Prime Minister Sri uh, Narendra Modi. And uh, this is a time when the nation and the region is going through a large number of challenges and difficult times. And what we require at this point is a very, very strong leadership, a very mature leadership, a leadership that understands the dynamics of the area, and a leadership that understands the requirements of the defense. And this alone can ensure security of the region, security of the nation. And it is this security alone which can help development. Uh, if you have development as a, uh, one of your main motors, this cannot take place without uh, a proper leadership and proper security. If while uh, you are trying to develop, you have external forces, you have terrorism within the country, all pulling you down, then uh, we will not be able to uh, exploit the full potential of the, uh, of the nation for which we need a strong leadership, we need a strong defence force, and for which I think there is nothing better than the Bharatiya Janata Party. So what are your expectations from Bharatiya Janata Party, sir? Uh, no, that it, it, it's, I, I don't think I have any expectations as such. I have come voluntarily, I have come to contribute whatever little bit I can, and uh, incidentally, I have spent 39 years of my service in uniform uh, in Gadwal Rifles, where all the troops are from Gadwal region. And it's, Gadwal has got a history of not only sending soldiers to the, this one, uh, to the army and to the battlefield, but also has got a history of sending, uh, contributing immensely to the BJP. Hmm. We've had a chief minister who's been an uh, ex-general. Uh, the current chief minister is the son of a, uh, a soldier from Gadwal Rifles who fought the Second World War. The person who, uh, who uh, sort of influenced me to join today is one Mr. Ganesh Joshi, who was himself a soldier in 14 Gadwal. So uh, the Gadwal region uh, is, uh, is also closely connected with uh, the, the Bharati Janta Party. And uh, these are the reasons uh, all put together which has made me take this decision. So I look forward to working for the uh, party. So do you feel there, there is a common inclination, like the army has an inclination towards the BJP all over India? Uh, I think uh, if you ask uh, uh, the army people, uh, and if you look back at uh, the years that have gone by, the four decades that I've been in the army, uh, we felt that uh, it, it, the BJP is, uh, remains a natural choice of, the, of any army man, uh, most of the army men. And uh, it's the BJP that has done the most uh, for the army, for the welfare of the troops, for the welfare of officers. I think uh, majority of the army is inclined to, towards the BJP only, I suppose. So speculations are right that you're going to contest from Rota Karyana. How far it's oh, true, sir? That's a, that's a great news to me. I, I have no idea. I have no connect, connect with Rothak and I'm not, uh, I am not going to contest at all. I have no, no such uh, aspirations at all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So this was uh, uh, Lieutenant General uh, Mr. Sarachan and he said that he is uh, hopeful to serve the nation as the BJP has done in the past and he has no such aspirations in return from the BJP.